right, talk about a crazy morning. So it's Saturday. I went to the drift event for Friday night in the 350Z. I ended up leaving the car there because they're doing an all weekend drift event, so three days. So left the car there, drove the truck back. I was like, I'm gonna get the Corvette and stuff like that and take the Corvette up there. So um, taking the Corvette out to grab some coffee. The suspension broke on the thing, but I killed myself. So Donald had to come save me. Like right now we're like, uh, we're back at the house trying to put an angle kill on his car real quick so he can drive Sunday. I just ran across the road to grab some pizza for everybody. And we're gonna finish up his car, head back to the track so I can drive the 350Z. Um, which is pretty much like the only reliable car that I have, I believe. Yeah, really chaotic, but still, you know, it's part of it, I guess. But we're still having fun. So, eat some pizza, angle kit, drifting. All right, so we got the angle kit on my man's car. Kind of tighten everything up, just loosely thrown on there. All right, so we're gonna get this done. I'm gonna drive today and tomorrow, and he's gonna drive tomorrow, so. Yay, drifting. You getting it done, Donald? You sure? Yeah. Look like you're struggling. Are you struggling? No, I don't struggle. But you don't struggle. No. <laughs> Did you tell the camera how you almost died? Oh yeah, they know. They know. I almost died. Yes, this morning. Like I almost died. Like I said, I'll explain that in the next video. <laughs> All right. So we got the angle kit on Donald's car. Looking pretty good. Not too bad. But we're running a little late. We're about to head out. Go ahead and get the track, so.
right guys this is actually the day after the crazy weekend i wish i recorded more but like i said it was just last minute and running around like crazy but um just a lot of stuff happened like i said um it was last minute for me to go on friday and then i signed up for the whole entire weekend and like i said saturday the corvette fell apart going down the road um like I said, we got behind, put the angle kit on Donald's car and everything. He did get the drives, which I really hate that I didn't record any on Sunday. Um, Sunday was an absolute nightmare. So I was at the track Saturday, and I was going to come back or just stay down there. But I was like, well, Donald's coming up Sunday. So I just drove the truck back to the house, and I was going to, like, help him carry tires and stuff like that. So he didn't have to, like, pack everything into his car. But I foolishly, like an idiot, a complete idiot, left the keys for the 350Z at my house so <laughs> drove all the way down there sunday didn't even get to drive my car because i'm a clueless dummy so no no other excuse like i can't believe i did that but you know it is what it is and like i said because this is an hr swap car with everything from a 2008 car the vin number on the chassis doesn't match the keys that are on the car now because they're from a crashed 08 so no locksmith would touch the car because of that so but anyway <laughs> um i did get to drive with donald like i said i got to ride with him a little bit and i got to drive his car and uh, it was actually pretty cool because um the first lap i went out in his car totally spun out like two times i think um but the next time i i guess i agreed to like do tandems with the 350z behind me he just kind of rolled out behind us and I actually put together a pretty decent lap his car doesn't self steer very well and it doesn't like come off of like full lock or even close to full lock it kind of falls to angle i'm thinking because you don't have like the off or the, you know the rack the offset rack spacer whatever so i think that's why his car is a little difficult to drive but he got some seat time in i had fun even though i didn't get to drive and everything really so it was still a good time but worse than that is like i said i think it was saturday um not only did my clutch our friday i think my clutch started slipping so i couldn't really hit the bank up there because like when you would like clutch kick on you know clutch kick on the bank in third gear um you could kind of hear like it was just dragging the engine down without getting wheel speed so that kind of ruined the the weekend for the z that's why i was gonna drive the corvette but you know that didn't happen i'll show you guys the damage to the corvette in the next video but the worst thing of all is like i had a tire delaminate and destroyed didn't destroy but tore at one of my new wheels Cra i'm saying just a crazy weekend still had fun just a lot of unfortunate little things that happened and one stupidity thing in my part i'll show you guys the wheel but this is the wheel like i said i had a friend riding with me i initiated on the bank and about like halfway through i kind of lost the car and my, my friend that was riding with me was like did you did it break and i was like no i just suck but uh, i guess the tire delimited because then i tried to reinitiate and that's when i heard the the rim scrubbing so i'm not really worried about the outside i can scrub this you know just sand this smooth and it won't be an issue they'll be on the inside you'll never see it the outside kind of sucks i don't think i really hurt the outside but since it delaminated or you know since the tire come off um i basically drove off track like this and it kind of nicked it which that sucks but it wouldn't even really bum me out if the wheels weren't brand new i'm talking about maybe like maybe like 20 road miles and like three or four um laps out on track and that happened so it is what it is. I just took the back rims and put those on the front. And then I just ran all my spares and stuff for the that I had for the drift event. But the car, like all 350Zs, it held up with no issues. As you guys can see, look at that. <laughs> got to drive, or got to drive, got to drive. <laughs> I can't believe I left my keys for my car at the house. So stupid. But as I guess drifting is so such a violent thing, the car did get some more damage, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. Which, I, I'm kind of over it now. Like I said, when I got done painting it, put the car together. I wanted it to stay nice, but like I said, this is what this car is for. For me to drive and learn how to drive without caring about tearing up an expensive car. So, I had a tire delaminate. And it beat up the quarter panel, which has happened to me a bunch on this car. 
Um, so it's not too bad up here. This is just tire marked. But right there, you can see where it destroyed my bumper, which really breaks my heart. It's like, golly. So it's uh, kind of mangled right there. Yeah, it is what it is. It's going to happen. And I actually hit another barrier, but it wasn't bad. Uh, get over here against the tree. But it wasn't too bad. Just kind of slid against it. Um, I kind of done the opposite of what I should have done. I saw myself sliding to it and then just panic braked instead of like getting on power and driving away from it. But just too little... Two little dents. <clears throat> but I'm really mad at myself and bummed that I didn't get footage of me actually, a lot of footage of me driving. Um, but like, so there's just so much going on and I was running around like crazy, it was hot. So just, you know, didn't really feel like doing <laughs> recording much, but I actually got to get some tandems in. I done okay for my first time ever driving, uh, trying to drive close with someone like that, so. But I plan on going back maybe this Friday, but for sure next Friday. So if you liked the driving footage, subscribe, stick around, because there's going to be a lot of it. So I think that's kind of the direction I'm going to start going. It's just going to be driving footage and updates on the cars, because um, I've, I've got rid of a lot of stuff. I think at the beginning of the year I had like 14 vehicles and a lot of those are projects and i've actually sold off everything i'm down to seven vehicles now um it's just the corvette the cobra the two fds the 350z the mr2 and the eagle talon sold the everything else so um yeah i'm just gonna try and narrow my focus a little bit so i can actually get more seat time driving and more time to actually get some practice with some rc car stuff and go do some rc racing so trying to do too much so i'm trying to stop myself from you know trying to do more than i have time or money or whatever but anyway like i said i just forgot to record the track and stuff so i had to make some kind of exit for this video um like i said if you want to see more driving footage stick around because there's definitely going to be a lot more of that it's another reason for selling off all my stuff i'll have more free time more money so i can actually go drive so not just at Lanier, I want to go to Mid Pond, um, you know, a lot of tracks. So going to be doing a lot of driving. <laughs> all right, guys, like always, appreciate you for watching and subscribing and all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.